Hey guys, welcome to my latest video. Today we're going to be talking about the Arizona Cardinals offense in 2020 and what to expect from them next season. Before we get started, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow and I hope you enjoy the video. So when we begin the conversation about the Arizona Cardinals offense, I kind of want to just establish what they did last season. For starters, they were 24th in passing yards and 10th in rushing yards. So this was a more or less kind of average offense. They weren't that special in any way. Last season, at the beginning of the year, Cliff Kingsbury came in with his air raid pass heavy offense. And that just did not work. It struggled to do really anything. And it was very predictable. Kingsbury did not have a lot of success utilizing a very heavy pass offense. So schematically, uh, Kingsbury shifted his mentality a little bit and his personnel grouping showed that he understands that changes need to be made at the NFL level for there to be an effective offense. So he didn't just stick with that offense. He didn't think that it would work. He tweaked with things. He allowed uh, things like the run game to evolve. For example, in the second bit of the season, the Cardinals established the run game. They rushed for over five yards per carry over the entire season, in main part thanks to Kenyon Drake, who they added from the Miami Dolphins. That run Offense allowed for the entire offense to open up, and it made the aerial attack a lot more sinister. Also, the, the Cardinals used 11 personnel more than any other personnel grouping last season. 11 personnel, for those that don't know, is one running back, three wide receivers, and a tight end. And expect for that grouping, 11 personnel, to continue to be Arizona's most common personnel grouping, um, as it allows for tons of options, either running or throwing the football. And it also fits the skill positions and skill players that they have on offense. Also, look for Coach Cliff Kingsbury to continue to play with different personnel groupings and continue to rely on more of a balanced offense going forward. I mean, last year, they were very passive at the beginning of the season. And then as they became more comfortable with the running game, their entire offense became a better offensive unit. So look for next season, the offensive unit to be more balanced just going into the season. Now, let's talk about the players in that offense. Starting with Kyler Murray, the quarterback, he had a fantastic season last season. He showed why he was the first overall pick by winning 2019's Offensive Rookie of the Year. He was phenomenal. He had over 3,700 passing yards, 20 passing touchdowns, and 12 interceptions. And he also did a little bit of damage with his legs. He had 93 rushing attempts for 544 yards. And he just really showed that he was a multidimensional quarterback, which is where the league is going in the sense of quarterbacks. And he had it. He really showed that he could be a leader. I mean, obviously, first overall pick, a lot of things were expected from him, and he lived up to that hype. But the guys around him are really where it's going to be interesting. They're going to really lean on Kyler Murray to bring that entire offensive unit together, but he's got a lot of weapons, especially in the run game, where Kenyon Drake is back for his second season in Arizona. This should be his first full season. Last year, um, he was traded from the Miami Dolphins to Arizona. Um, for a late round draft pick. He was pretty stagnant in Miami, but when he reached, when he got to Arizona, he really just hit the ground running. In eight games, he had 643 rushing yards and eight rushing touchdowns. He was super, super dominant. He was all over the football field. Um, he had 6.1 average yards per reception, as well as um, 5.2 average yards per carry. Those are really good numbers. That means he was really moving the football effectively. And look for them to rely on Kenyon Drake a lot. As I said, last season when they moved to a more balanced offense, utilizing the run a lot more than they did at the beginning of the year, they were a lot more successful. Meaning that Kenyon Drake will have a big part um, next season in establishing the ground game and really making that offense into a better offensive unit than it was last season. However, the wide receivers are where they improved the most in the offseason by bringing in one of the league's best wide receivers in DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, Hopkins is phenomenal. He's absolutely brilliant. He's one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. He's up there with guys like Michael Thomas, uh, Julio Jones, Devontae Adams, guys like that. Hopkins probably has one of the best hands in the entire NFL. And not to mention, he's a three-time first-team All-Pro member and four-time Pro Bowler. Last season, he had 104 catches for 1,165 yards and seven touchdowns. I mean, he could rack up the yards after the catch he can catch the ball in the red zone. He's a great red zone target. He can go up and catch the football. Um, he can make plays on the run. He can basically do everything. He's one of the best all-around wide receivers in the NFL, and he's going to be Kyler Murray's number one target there in Arizona. So really look for DeAndre Hopkins to be a force in Arizona next season, especially with Kyler Murray there. 
um, who's a guy that can make plays. He's a guy that can make plays. And yes, the truth is DeAndre Hopkins has been really good with quarterbacks that haven't been very good. I mean, when Deshaun Watson was injured, DeAndre Hopkins was still good. So really look for DeAndre Hopkins to really fit seamlessly into this environment, especially in an offense that likes to throw the ball with Cliff Kingsbury. So now let's move on to their next wide receiver, Larry Fitzgerald. Obviously, Larry Fitzgerald's been in the league forever. He's an 11-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro member. I mean, he's a future Hall of Famer. But last season, he quietly had a very good season in Arizona. He had 75 catches for 804 yards and four touchdowns, and especially at his age, but he can still do it, and he can still play at a really high level. If you look for Larry Fitzgerald to continue what he did last year, he's going to be a catch machine. He's going to be a reliable guy for Kyler Murray to have. And yes, his receptions probably will go down, not just because of age, but just because of DeAndre Hopkins also coming um, into the system. But look for Fitzgerald to have another 70-catch season with 800 yards. I think that's very doable for him. But also there's a guy by the name of Christian Kirk in that offense that is going to be really solid too. Kirk um, last season showed that he could, he could be a legitimate NFL wide receiver. He played in 13 games, and in those 13 games, he had 709 receiving yards and three touchdowns. He was a few big games away from 1,000 receiving yards, and I think he could do it this year, even with DeAndre Hopkins. I think that Arizona passing attack is really going to be dominant. And especially, as I said, they're going to probably utilize 11 personnel a lot, meaning that DeAndre Hopkins, Larry Fitzgerald, and Chris String Kirk are going to be on the field a lot of the time. This means that Kirk is going to have the same opportunity as Fitzgerald and DeAndre Hopkins to rack up catches and rack up yardage. So look for the, those guys to really be dominant there in Arizona. Also, the, the tight end position. Max Williams is the, is the tight end there. He's not that special. I mean, he's, he hasn't done that much in the past. He had 202 uh, receiving yards last year as well as one touchdown. He's not going to blow by you. He's not going to jump over you to catch footballs. Uh, but what he is is he is a solid guy that the Cardinals can trust in the passing game. He quietly had a really good season last year. He's a great blocking tight end. And just look for him to be another guy that Kyler Murray can rely on and count on in that passing game. Now let's move on to the offensive line. The offensive line is really interesting in Arizona. They don't have one of the better offensive lines in the league. And their offensive line is really just, it's a questionable offensive line. They didn't do that well last year. However, what they did do is they opened up holes in the running game. Yet pass protection-wise, they didn't really keep Kyler Murray upright all the time. Let's see what they can do next year. So for starters, the left tackle position, they re-signed DJ Humphreys, um, who was really, really solid last year. Humphreys is one of the better left tackles in the NFL. He's a little bit underrated, doesn't get talked about all that much, but he only allowed two sacks last season, which is really, really good. I mean, if you want to keep Kyler Murray upright, you're going to need a great left tackle, and DJ Humphreys is that left tackle. At the left guard position, they have Justin Pugh, um, he's another solid veteran who's been around for a while, and he last year played over a thousand snaps, so he's durable. And he only gave up four sacks, which is pretty average. So don't expect too much from Justin Pugh, but he's a solid guy on that offensive line. And then in the center of that offensive line, they're probably going to have Mason Cole. Um, Cole wasn't really a, a dominant player on that offensive line last year. He's more of a backup guy, rotational guy, but he showed that he could play, and this year, I think he'll get a larger role on that offensive line, so look for Mason Cole's name to pop up a little bit more in the future. At right guard, they have J.R. Sweezy. Um, Sweezy's another solid guy. He played over a 1,000 snaps last year and only gave up one sack, which is great, and the thing is, they're, they're just going to need durable guys on this offensive line for them to get better. The real thing is at the right tackle position, it's a little bit of up in air who is going to be there. One option is Marcus Gilbert. He missed all of last season due to injury, um, but he is a veteran guy who's played really well in the past, so he could be an option there. However, my favorite to be the right tackle for most of the season is Josh Jones out of Houston. Could have been a first or second round pick. He definitely had that talent to be a late first round pick, but he dropped all the way to the Cardinals in the third round. So he was a great pickup for them at Houston. He was a solid tackle and look for him to be a solid tackle in the NFL. So overall, I mean, this offense is going to really take the next step next year. If Cliff Kingsbury can really get a game plan and scheme going that incorporates the running game, but also the passing game. And the truth is Kyler Murray is a mobile quarterback. So it's not like defenders can really focus on clinging down on the run game, taking away Kenny Drake, because then there's DeAndre Hawkins, Larry Fitzgerald, and Christian Kirk. But if they want to take away the pass game, then they have to worry about Kenny Drake. And if they want to, if they manage to get rid of the passing game as well as the running game, then there's always Kyler Murray who can, who can scramble outside of the pocket and pick up yardage like that. So this offense is so multidimensional and has so many different ways that it can be successful that I think it's going to be a really good offense in 2020. So watch out for the 2020 Arizona Cardinals offense 
to perhaps be a top 10 offense in 2020. It may seem a little bit unlikely, but I think it's possible, especially with the defensive improvements that they had um, this offseason, especially getting Isaiah Simmons in the draft, that maybe the Arizona Cardinals could compete for a wild card spot in 2020. Now that you've reached the end of my video, I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe as it helps my channel out, and check out my other videos on my channel. Also, you can follow my Instagram, the link is in the description down below, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, see ya.